All right, first off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kadash, the water Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for letting me do another video through the Spirit, the water Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth as worms, double honor to our apostle, and utter that great millstone, and salutation and blessings to the whole collect. It's going to be a video off of what Vocab Malone is saying that the Israelites, what Vocab Malone and his flunkies are saying that the Israelites never fell away from their heritage and Clearly, we, we, we fell away from our heritage. Even back then, even during the time of the Greeks, we fell away from our heritage. Jake was, Jake was going off and doing things they weren't supposed to before the eyes of Yahweh by Shemi al That's why the Lord said, that's why they asked if, if, it, if he would go into the, unto the, that's why they asked the Lord if he was going to go into the Gentiles. Because you had Israelites even back then who weren't following Israelite customs. Timothy's father, perfect example. Timothy's father fell away from the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So we fell, man. We fell and it was a great fall. And now we're rising back up. And that's, whole, that's what Vocab's whole MO is, man. He don't want us to rise back up. He doesn't want the nation of Israel to be established once again. He's just a reprobate who's going around trying to, trying to, trying to destroy the temple just like the heathens before when we were when we were rebuild the temple of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, what did the heathens do? They came and and were try and were trying to destroy it and tried to stop it. But you're not gonna stop this man. You're not gonna stop the temple of Yahweh Bashim al Shah being reborn. About to get the scripture. This is a uh, John seven, Saint John seven and verse thirty five. Then, then said the Jews among themselves, well, I'm oh, sorry, at 33. Then, then said Yahweh Shai unto them, Yet a little while I am with you, and then I go unto, unto him that sent me. Because Yahweh Shai is speaking about his death, he is speaking about returning unto his father. Yet, yet ye, ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and, when, and where I am, neither ye cannot come. Because Yahweh Shah is saying he's going to be in the spirit world. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whether will he go that that we we shall not find him? Will he go unto the, the unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Because you had Israelites dispersed amongst amongst the heathens, amongst the other nations, and they were saying, Will he go unto the Gentiles? The, the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles those Gentiles which they were speaking about were Israelites who went off and did their own thing man just like uh, well the scripture right here because this is what I'll grab two just to back the one up because leaving the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai makes you a Gentile it makes you a heathen the Lord Yahweh Shai said cast them off as a heathen man so if you follow after the ways of the heathens or follow after the ways which are contrary to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that makes you a heathen. This is at, and this is uh, First Maccabees one and verse eleven. And in those days went out, well, in in those days went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that that we that are round about us, for since for since." We departed from from them. We have seen much. We have had much sorrow. Salakia. Damn strange. But they said, "Let us go make a covenant with the heathens." So they said, "Let us go amongst the heathens." So they left off from the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. What does that make you when you leave off from the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai? This is act. I mean, this is Matthew's eight. 18 and verse 
verse 17. And if he shall neglect to hear, hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. So it means get rid of him, man. Let him be as one of the heathens. Let him, let him be as one of the heathens. Cast him out. Cast him out of the congregation. And that's how the Lord Yahweh by Shemi Al-Shah looks at the two-thirds as heathens. Cast off. That's why it says, when we were yet enemies, when we were enemies of Yahweh by Shemi Al-Shah, what? We were cast off. We fell from our heritage, making us enemies of Yahweh by Shemi Al-Shah. But now being reconciled back unto him, we we are, are citizens of the kingdom, in, in other words. But what? We fell, man. We lost it. it simple scripture. Jeremiah uh, uh, 17. You, thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage. That happened unto the entire nation of Israel. We all discontinue from our heritage. We all forsook Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Every, every single one. We fell from the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. So saying that the Israelites have never fallen is a complete and a complete erroneous statement man it's retarded man it's it's something that's not scriptural because it was prophesied that we will fall off man it was even moses said you're gonna go after pouring after the gods after i after i die so it was always always this falling and rising back up falling rising back up falling rising back up and we fell once again and now we're rising back up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, but you have people like Vocab and wicked Israelites who who are against the building of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, which the Lord is going to deal with you. The Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is going to deal with y'all. We're going to preach the word, we're going to proclaim the words, we're going to bring out the truth. But the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai has a great judgment for y'all because y'all lying on them, man. Huh? The Lord knocked us off our pedestal and put us on the bottom and made us as low as these heathens and he took our heritage away from us. That happened. That's biblical. It happened and, it, and, it's, and it's being reversed right now, but it, it happened. We lost it, man. They beat us. They beat it out of, out of us in slavery. Jake forsook it in, in the Greek captivity and in the Roman. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The Israelites never fell from their heritage. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. You can you can try to say what you want, but we we definitely fell from our heritage. We had to fall because it was prophesied. The prophecies wouldn't be fulfilled if we didn't fall from our heritage, which will make Yahweh by Shemiah shy a lie. So, are you making the Lord a liar, saying the Israelites never fell? Because it says, well, I'll, I'll get it. Because you will be making the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai a liar if we didn't fall from our heritage. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. What you're trying to do, vocab, you're trying to deceive. What you've deceived other Israelites, you've deceived them people who follow you. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come what the day of the Lord Except there be a falling away first. What is a falling away, man? What is that? When someone fa falls, man, we fell away from our heritage. Thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage. As and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And Esau, Paul knew who who the son of perdition was back then, but. Not everybody, not everybody knew that, man. But now, this time, when we're we're covering back, being uh, being brought back unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, the man of sin is being revealed. Esau, Edom, the man of perdition, Esau, Edom is being revealed before the world. So we would have to be, we would have to fall away, and we'd have to be re, being being reconciled back unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai for Esau to being being revealed in these last days man we we hey it's all a part of the movie of y'all by shimmy Shai, the rise and fall of the nation of israel man or the fall to the rise of the nation of israel because we fell and now we're rising up in the name and the power of y'all by shimmy Al Shai. but we definitely fell and it was a great fall but now we're rising back up even greater 
because no matter no matter how many lies, no matter how many stories, no how much bullshit gets put out there, it's coming out that we are the Israelites, man. No matter how many people try to come up against it, no many how many scoffers or agents get set up, no man, no matter how many videos get taken down or channels, the truth of the matter is that the truth is coming out, and there's nothing you can do to stop it, man. There's and that's what vocab told and Mo is to stop the truth from coming out. He's an agent. He's an agent set up, paid and, and paid in full to 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 debunk what the Israelites are saying. But you can't debunk what we're saying. This is the truth. This is the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And the nation of Israel is rising back up. And there's nothing you can do to stop it or anyone. Because the Lord has ordained it. It's written, it's said, and it will happen. Just like it was written and said that we will fall. And it's written and said that we will rise back up. We have to fall for Yahweh by Shemiah Shai to get his glory in these last days. Romans, uh, Romans 5 and verse, verse 7. Well, Romans, Romans 5 and verse 6. For when we were yet without strength, <laughs> in, in due time, Yahweh shall die for the ungodly. For, for, what is this? For scarcely for a righteous man will die, yet put a venture for, for a good, good, good man would some would even dare to die. But Yahweh commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Yahweh shall die for us much more than being now justified by his blood. We, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, who are the enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? All these other nations are the enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So if we were, for a time, we were enemies of the Lord. We were enemies because why? We're going after the ways of the heathens. And what happens when you go after the ways of the heathens? The Lord looks at you a heathen, which makes you his enemy, man. You, you're, you're still an Israelite, but you acting like a heathen. So what? You're uncircumcised. Which, who doesn't, who uh, is uncircumcised? These heathens, man. They're uncircumcised. The, the covenant of circumcision was given unto the nation of Israel. Started from Abraham, going down to Isaac, going down to, to Jacob, and all the 12 tribes. That covenant was made with us. And, and, and to, to our lineage, these other nations, they're uncircumcised. They're heathens. They, they don't have any part to do with the covenant of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So if we were enemies, if we, if we were enemies of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, what would that made us at that time? A Gentile, a heathen. Meaning, we didn't have it. We didn't have the knowledge. But what? The Lord gave it back to us. We were reconciled to Yahweh by the death of his son. So through the death of Yahweh Shai, we being reconciled unto him, we're not enemies anymore. Because I know me personally, I didn't born I wasn't born knowing I was an Israelite. That I didn't learn that till I was eighteen. What seventeen going on eighteen? That that's not something that's widely taught around the world. That's just me personally. I know other brothers didn't grow up knowing as it's like we were we were enemies man because if we would have continued down that path the lord yahweh bashim yahushua would have fucking killed us man and he can still kill us but just saying we have a better chance but if we were to continue in the ways of the world and going down that path we were enemies of yahweh bashim yahushua making us what a fucking heathen man in the eyes of the lord man a smoke in his nose about to be destroyed going down the path of destruction. Why? Because we didn't have it. We fell. Them niggas across, it was Arabs across the street, but these niggas next door don't know they're Israelites. And they are Israelites. Niggas next to them. they Israelites, but they don't know they're Israelites. Why? Why is that? Because we lost our heritage, man. We lost it. It's a simple concept, man. We lost the truth. We lost the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But it's being brought back unto us. Vocab, you cannot stop that, man. 
and none of your flunkies can, man. People have tried many times, even in the H world, to stop the will or to come up against what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai set up. And he set y'all up to do it anyways. But it has always failed, man. You cannot stop the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. No matter how much you try, you can't do it. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has said it and it will be done. This is Matthew uh, back in Romans 5 and verse 10. For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to Yahweh by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we we shall be saved by his life. And that's when you come back into this truth, man. When you come back into the knowledge of who you are. This is uh, Ephesians 2. Two in verse ten, for we were, for we are work, for we are the workmanship created in in Yahweh Shai Mashiach unto good works, which Yahweh hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised by that which is called the the circumcision, meaning you were Israelites, but the circumcised, the ones who, who who knew they were Israelites, called you uncircumcised. I'll read it again. Who are called uncircumcised by by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Meaning they was being casted off. They was casted off as heathen. But but what? It was said in times past. Check out verse 12. That at that time you were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, or and strangers from the covenant of the of promise, having no hope and without Yahweh Yahweh in the world, just like the heathens, man. The heathens are strangers; they're without hope, and they don't have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We fell from that. We fell from the from from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But now we're being reconciled back unto him. Which is a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing to know, to come back to actual heritage. You you people want us to stay niggas, man. To go rob and loot and shuck and jive and play basketball, play football. And maybe even rugby. Because you probably got some Jake in rugby. Hockey, there's a lot of Jakes coming up in hockey. That's at least what I hear. But I don't, I don't know about one Jake uh, hockey player. I don't even remember his name. But... Either way, that's what y'all people want us to be. Y'all don't want us to come back unto the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Why is that? Because when we come back unto our power, just like it says in Revelation 11, those two prophets tormented them because Israel put hell on you other nations, man. You other nations was under the foot of King David and King Solomon, man. And, and other kings, y'all got your asses whooped by Joshua. <laughs> Joshua beat E C to a like like old boy did to uh to uh George Floyd. That's what Joshua told the men of Israel to do to the to the heathen. He said, put your foot upon their neck, man. Cause that represents dominion. But that's another topic. Lord, we gotta do a video on that because that show that Esau has dominion over Jake right now. But soon hey, we're gonna break free from that. This is back in verse uh Ephesians two and verse twelve. That at that time we were, well, I started back, back, back in verse 13. But now in Yahweh Shai, but now in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, ye are, ye who, who sometimes were, were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh Shai. For he is our peace who have, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in the flesh the the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in in ordinance, for for to make it himself of twain one new man, so so make peace. Well, that was basically the point, man. That was, that was that was that was about it, man. We fell away. We fell away from our heritage. But now Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is raising, raising us back up. And there's nothing anyone can do or 
say to stop that, man. You can do, talk shit, do what you want, but that's not going to stop the prophecies of Yahweh by Shemi Al-Shah from being fulfilled. So, Lord will this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem al Shai by Shem Rakar Kadash, the Wadi Al by Shemi Al-Shah. If not, we do another video through our spirit. The Wadi Al by Shemi Al-Shah, for giving us the truth of the worms. Don't mind us, our apostle, under that great millstone and salutation. Blessings to all from life. Shalom.